Lieutenant General John Fruin is the COVID-19 task force commander. Lieutenant General, all the time cases are popping up around the country. In the race between cases spreading through the population and vaccination spreading through the, vaccina through the population, vaccination mm -hmm. is winning. But is it moving fast enough that when lockdowns end and case numbers inevitably move into much higher figures, that death and serious illness will remain low? Lisa, as you've mentioned, I'm glad you, you've seen that the momentum in the vaccine rollout is really picking up speed. But of course, you know, this Delta variant uh, is, uh, it's, uh, you know, really, uh, it spreads rapidly. Uh, it's really concerning. So we do have to have two arms uh, at play. We've got to have the, the lockdowns, the testing, the tracing, the isolation. Uh, and then we also need to be vaccinating as quickly as we can. Um, and I'm uh, committed to a national vaccine rollout because I think for the very reason you've described about outbreaks moving around that we do need to make sure that the, the vaccine rollout is happening as consistently as we can. Um, I, ideally in some areas we'll manage to get to those high rates of vaccination uh, before further outbreaks uh, but in situations like we've got in Sydney right now which you know are very very challenging uh, we've got to do the two concurrently so uh, we're working to, to get those vaccines into the highest priority areas as fast as we can, um, but all of those other measures uh, we've got to persist with until we get the, the spread under control. One of the more concerning developments in New South Wales has been the spread into regional areas. How much vaccine coverage is there in regional New South Wales, but in particular in remote Indigenous communi communities? Yeah, well, as I've said, in the national rollout plan, we've been distributing the vaccines uh, across the country in its entirety. Uh, we do it in two ways. We do it through the Commonwealth uh, GPs, uh, Commonwealth Vaccine Clinics and the ARCHOs, the Indigenous uh, Health Services. Uh, and then we also provide vaccines to the states and territories, which they distribute as well. But there is coverage across the country. We've been very conscious of making sure that uh, in some areas where there aren't necessarily uh, access to GPs that we've bought pharmacies on earlier, uh, where there are, aren't access to either of those that we've got visits from services like the Royal Flying Doctor Service. Uh, but it, it's been a feature of the campaign from the start. Uh, we watch it carefully uh, and we'll make sure the further we go into this that we, uh, we quickly identify any areas that may be falling behind. What about Walgett in New South Wales Northwest, where we know that they have now reported a case and there's a very significant Indigenous community? Absolutely. So uh, we were working with the New South Wales authorities on this last night. Um, and between us, we've uh, come up with, a, I think, a, a very appropriate response and a very rapid response. Uh, both New South Wales uh, and ourselves are, are redirecting uh, vaccines to the, the medical facilities there. Uh, we've uh, also started to move additional testing kits. Uh, we've started to move additional PPE and we've put the Royal Flying Doctor Service on standby to also provide uh, additional vaccination support. And where is that um, equipment and those vaccines, where are they being moved from? Yeah, so look, there is already, uh, there's six GPs, there's one Commonwealth uh, vaccine clinic uh, run by the Archos there already. Uh, so vaccines are already there, testing equipment is already there and PPE is already there. Uh, we're, we're just moving them from uh, either stocks that are available or other facilities where we've got these things. They're coming from a multitude of uh, places across New South Wales, but this is all uh, just reprioritisation within New South Wales, either from the Commonwealth uh, stocks or the New South Wales stocks. I guess what I'm getting to is, are you leaving other areas more uncovered to deal with Walgett? No, we're always, uh, as I said, making sure that the vaccine rollout uh, continues consistently. Uh, you would appreciate that uh, there is a, there's an allocation, then there's an ordering process, and then there's getting vaccines into arms. Uh, we make sure that where uh, sometimes orders uh, you know, aren't going into arms as quickly as possible, uh, that we can identify that and just move those as an opportunity uh, prior to the next orders coming in. You've said this week that you thought Australia could have 70% coverage by the end of the year. Is it possible that could come sooner? Now, this is a story of uh, additional vaccines are coming in. And, you know, I think through September and October, we're expecting uh, a real ramp up in the available vaccines. Uh, we're also opening up additional distribution points all the time. Uh, uh, currently, we've got the pharmacists coming on. We've got 676 pharmacists uh, operating 
Uh, today we hope to have about 1,400 by the end of this week and we hope to be up into uh, well over 2,000 uh, early next week. So it's, it's more vaccines, it's more distribution points and in that we're just going to keep seeing these numbers accelerating. But you now, won't actually, sorry, though, sorry to interrupt about, though, but you will hit a point where it won't keep yeah. accelerating because you'll, you'll hit a sort of hard point where most people who want to get done will have been done. Yeah, look, um, you know, today uh, we've also released uh, sentiment data. You know, ultimately this is about uh, people in Australia coming forward to get vaccinated. Right now uh, I'm uh, really uh, uh, appreciative of the approach Australians are taking. They're coming forward in droves, those numbers indicate it. The sentiment surveys say that 79% of Australians are intending to get vaccinated. That is a fantastic number. There's about another 14% making up their mind and at the moment there's only 7% who are saying uh, they won't get vaccinated. Now, in those numbers, we can get to 70%, we can get to 80%. We'll just keep encouraging people to, to do the right thing and uh, Australians seem to know it's the right thing to do for themselves and for our nation and uh, I really, uh, really am uh, enthusiastic that uh, we can get those sort of numbers done as long as people keep turning up, Lee. Lieutenant General, thank you for your time. Thanks, Lee. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.